Hi everyone, welcome to another video and I have read that book channel. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and be part of I have read that book family and learn things for free. It takes nothing to subscribe, you will get to learn the good stuff only on this channel. So yes, do subscribe if you haven't already. And I would also request you to click on the like button below the video if you like the video. It kind of gives me some inspiration to make more of such videos. And also let me know in the comments how you are liking these videos or if you want some improvement or some other topic covered because ultimately I make these videos for you only and your feedback will help me improve and also inspire me to make many other good videos. So um, in this video we are going to talk about types of sampling and I have already shared the topics for this week on Instagram so make sure you're, you follow us there and schedule for this week can also be checked in the about section. Now as you already know from previous video that sampling is related to pixels or spatial resolution. So when we talk about types of sampling we are either trying to increase the samples and hence increase the number of pixels or decrease the samples and hence decrease the number of pixels. So when you're trying to increase the pixels or samples it is called up sampling and when you when you're trying to decrease the samples it is called down sampling okay now let us understand it in detail up sampling is also known as interpolation and we are going to talk about this one this one first um so um down sampling is also called decimation right Example of upsampling would be zooming of an image and downsampling is compressed file or compressing an image and hence reducing the size of the image. And there are many operators or filters used for both interpolation and decimation and um, we will talk about those also. Now interpolation is also used for resampling okay where you just change the location of pixels in an image and hence image looks more like uh, you know more to the left or the right or sometimes distorted as compared to the original image okay now first let's talk about the process of interpolation or upsampling so when you are trying to upsample an image you are basically expanding uh, the image which also means you want to increase the width and height of the image now it depends by what dimensions uh, you want to increase it or um, you know based on that you can repeat the rows and columns of an image and enlarge it for example if you want to increase the size of this image by a factor of two you will increase the width and height of image by factor two um, by multiplying you know height and width by two right now how do you create new pixel locations because as there are there are definitely new pixel locations uh, being created here right so how do we do that well um, uh, first of all I hope you know this is the concept of zooming okay and oversampling of an image and it is the uh, creation of new pixels is done by assigning color values to new locations for example, let's say you have a pixel of 500 by 500 pals and you want to enlarge it to 750 by 750. So you can in simple terms imagine a 750 by 750 um, grid okay, over the original image. Now I know the dimension in the image looks a little bit distorted and overlay seems like it doesn't have equal divides. but that is because I couldn't do the justice here but otherwise just know that it has to have equal length divisions so for assignment of intensity values in the overlay you know here look for closest pixel in the original image and then assign its value to the new pixel this one is the original image and this is your overlay right and so you will look for the closest pixel in the original image and then assign its value to the new pixel in the grid okay 
and when all the points are covered in the overlay you can expand it to the original size of zoomed image and this method is actually called nearest neighbor interpolation one of the methods uh, used uh, in upsampling there are a lot of uh, techniques for interpolation but the nearest neighbor interpolation is the simplest one okay now let us say that an image like this is given and you want to expand it so here now um, we are taking pixel values and for zooming or upsampling you don't have to create any new data in the image as you already know you are only using the given data which is intensity value of pixels right in this case also you are not using any new data you are using this data only okay okay and uh, so um, what you are going to do here in nearest neighbor interpolation you are going to use the values of pixels and duplicate it to nearby locations to new locations these values are being duplicated to new locations these values are duplicated to new locations okay now there are different types of interpolation as I told you and in this video we're going to talk about nearest neighbor interpolation only um, so uh, let's say we'll take this example you want to double the size of image which means you will duplicate each column and then row of the image and the example taken here is in two dimensional so let's say this is an image matrix given as we have discussed already that an image can be represented in the form of a matrix so let's say this is our matrix for an image and to increase the resolution or expand the image given data is used that is matrix values will be used and how are they used first of all what are the matrix values these are nothing but pixel values only right and they represent the intensity of a color so these pixel values are used in nearest neighbor interpolation and you will try to create a new pixel in the neighborhood of given pixel with the same value as the given pixel okay so in nearest neighbor interpolation first you will double the values of columns so given matrix becomes like this and here the factor is 2 okay so we are trying to duplicate it right and after that you will double the values of rows so first you are doubling the values of columns so we'll start with the first column 10 12 19 we'll double the value 10 12 19 then 14 18 14 and 21 17 25 right after that we are going to double the rows so 10 this is first row we'll just double the value so another row okay and then another row and third row so this is uh, how you get the result the, the resultant image is obviously going to uh, be uh, you know this is the zoomed image okay now let's talk about down sampling or shrinking and when you're trying to shrink an image or com compress an image it's called down sampling and in this case you only get rid of a few pixel values so um, in case of up sampling or zooming we are trying to add more pixels to the image and in case of shrinking or down sampling you are just getting rid of the pixel value so you are just going to delete the values and there are a lot of ways because in this case when you are obviously deleting the pixel values there is loss of information so you are definitely compromising uh, the picture quality will be compromised here okay so there are a lot of ways to avoid that but um, since we are not talking about those ways here uh, down sampling and uh, or shrinking uh, this is what it is okay so you are just deleting few pixel values to uh, reduce the size of the image okay and uh, also uh, zooming and sampling or up sampling because we said uh, we already uh, discussed zooming or up sampling they are actually um, not the same because sampling is actually associated with signals so sampling is done on signals and when we talk about zooming 
it is done on digital images okay so in this case what we did uh, we were actually talking about zooming which is also called up sampling because in case of sampling or up sampling you are increasing the samples which actually increases the pixels of an image you know when you perform quantization um so uh, that way zooming of an image is performed but in um if you know technically sampling is performed on signals and zooming is related to digital images okay all right in the next video lecture we will talk about histograms and if you found this video helpful like it and share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you have any doubts please feel free to comment below i will see you in the next video